What's up everyone, it's Chris with Eunice. Behind me, you'll see a Heidmech S23A miter saw and today we're gonna show you how to install a cool lubricator system. Today we'll be talking about our Eunice cool lubricator. This design here is a single positive displacement pump. It comes equipped with a 16 ounce reservoir it's actuated by a 24 volt solenoid, which Heidmech has provisions in their program to integrate our system. If that's not the case for your application, we have other actuation methods available, such as a 110 volt solenoid, a manual valve, so operators would have to interact to turn the system on and off, as well as an air pilot valve that could be actuated off of a pneumatic cylinder or clamp. Additionally, we have our single positive displacement pump that dispenses a 30th of a milliliter of fluid each time the pump strokes. The Cool Lubricator product line is designed for applications that require continuous lubrication. One of the first steps to take when installing a Eunice fluid delivery solution is figuring out where to mount the mechanical portion of the system. When choosing a mounting location for your Eunice Cool Lubricator, there are a couple of considerations that you need to make. The first is you will need to route 80 to 100 PSI of clean and dry compressed air to our system. The second is the actuation method. In this example, we're using one of our manual on-off valves. However, your application may be better suited for an electronic solenoid valve or an air pilot valve, in which case additional considerations may need to be made. The third is having access to the available adjustments on our system to help fine tune your spray pattern. And the fourth is having access to the reservoir to refill with our cool lube cutting oil when your reservoir runs low. As shown, this is our 16 ounce reservoir, but we have other sizes available depending on your specific application. For this example, we chose the side of the control cabinet on this Heidmech saw as we'll be wiring directly into our 24 VDC solenoid valve. For mounting, there are two through holes in our manifold block that accept quarter inch hardware. Today, we'll be using this custom made bracket that uses quarter inch hardware to mount to the side of the control cabinet. We can also install an industrial magnet on our systems for ease of mounting the Unis system. Okay, we have the system mounted, we have 80 PSI of compressed air, and power to our 24 VDC solenoid valve. The next step is hooking up the supply line for our air and fluid mixture. For this application, we chose our BAT nozzle. This is a great solution for bandsaws as it gives you three fluid outputs from a single pump. You have a center fluid output that sprays directly into the gullet of the teeth and these two outside outputs that spray at the sides of the blade teeth. With the sale of these nozzles, we provide you with mounting instructions. For this application, we chose a mounting location right before the blade passes through the second guide wheel. This is a nice open area and is not invasive of the machine. As you can see here, we use the template that's included with those instructions to drill a hole that corresponds with the ideal mounting location on the saw. Okay, we have our nozzle fixed in position. Now there are a couple considerations to make before we're done here. The first being this depth stop adjustment. This helps set the distance from where the nozzle will be in relation to the blade. From that center output, we want the blade about a quarter of an inch away. Next. You have this set screw in the event that you need to perform any maintenance and you need to remove the nozzle. Simply loosen the screw and pull just the nozzle out of position while your flange stays in a fixed position. The cool lubricator comes with three adjustments. The first is your air metering adjustment, which adjusts the airflow through the tubing and nozzle assembly that you could use to fine tune your spray pattern. The second is your pump stroke distance adjustment, which adjusts the fluid output amount per stroke of the pump. The third is the pulse generator, which adjusts the rate at which the pump cycles when the system is turned on. At Unist, we build our systems to our factory settings. This means the air metering screw is set to three quarters of one turn open from all the way closed. The pump is set to full stroke, which allows for 1 30th of a milliliter of fluid to be dispensed with each stroke of the pump and the pulse generator is set to 10 cycles per minute or a stroke every six seconds. These settings are a great starting point for most applications. There you have it. Those are the basics for installing a Eunice Cool Lubricator on a horizontal bandsaw. 
Now whether it's a Heidmech or any of the other saw manufacturers, we have the options, parts, and expertise to tailor a solution to your specific application. For more information, find us on the web at Eunice.com.